do is I'm going to have you to draw a big heart right here. I don't know how. Okay, we'll start right here. I'm going to go all the way around. Good. Just like that. Now I want you to put a dot right there. Dot right here. I'm gonna keep going all the way around. And the last time I watched the show, the Ashram and the show by Chantal, it was pretty insane. I mean, well, words can't explain the insanity or the total craziness. Um, you gotta see it. I mean, I think it's even better than a regular show. I'm trying to make sure that they're straight across from one another. Uh, when the show starts, there. Very good. Okay, so we have already um, gone through the first step. So you have already outlined your heart and you have done your dots in order for you to put the nails in with each corresponding dot. Okay, so what you will be using is this box of nails and you're going to be using this hammer. So what you will be doing is grabbing the nail and placing it on a dot. And then you're just gonna hammer it. Make sure to apply enough force, but um, do it in controlled movements. You don't wanna be overly aggressive with it because you could smush your fingers, okay? Okay, so here's your box and the hammer. And we are using this towel just to reduce the noise level since this activity is taking place inside, but you could also, you could also do this outside and it's helpful to use a towel just because it avoids the board moving or um, the nails going through the surface where you're working on, okay? Yes, and you want to leave that space. You're doing very good. You want to leave a space just so whenever we do the string, um, you will have enough space for that, okay? So you're doing very good. And right there is fine. Try to keep them the same size so it'll look leveled throughout. Corbin, so now that we've drawn our heart and we put our dots in there and we put our nails in there, we're going to work on putting the string onto um, the heart. So I see that you chose um, your string color. So if you'll go ahead and grab your string, you'll pull some extra off of it. You're going to start with this, really, this very top nail and you're going to make a small uh, knot around it as an anchor point. And you may have to tie it more than once to make sure that it stays. But it should be fine with just one. So now that you have that tied, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come straight down to this point. Um, if you'll come on this side of it. And what you wanna do when you're stringing is you wanna make sure that the string is tight um, so that your design um, looks really nice. So once you go here, you're gonna go up and off to the side one. So you're gonna go up and then you're gonna wrap around this way 
and then you'll come to this side. And um, and just make sure that your string doesn't fall off the table. Um, and then you'll wrap it around this one. And then you'll go up to that one. And then you'll come back down to this one. If you need to pull off some extra string to make sure that you have enough, that's fine too. Okay. And then where do you think you go from here? Uh, up here. Okay, yes. And then here. Okay. You're doing a great job. Sometimes people think it's easier to hold the string in your hand so that you can um, manipulate it and um, your hand at the same time. So if you go right here and then back up to that one. And then um, tie a knot. You'll tie a knot on this one now as well. You can just clip off whatever excess you don't want. Um, but there you go, you did your work.